So, so this is official day one of the 10 gallon nano tank. As you can see, I've got the uh, salt water mixed up and in there. Um, got everything set up. Uh, the filter currently is not running. I ran it for a couple hours just after putting in the live sand and the uh, water, you know, because it gets cloudy. And even though the live sand, at least on this uh, brand, they say, you know, don't wash it. You probably could because it was pretty cloudy, but, um, you know, I don't have anything else to compare it to. But, I mean, it, for a couple hours it was cloudy, and then it started to settle out all by itself. Um, I put the filter in, the, you know, regular charcoal filter that uh, comes with the uh, the filter unit. And ran it just for, like, two hours just to kind of clean up some of the, uh, uh, the fine, uh, you know, sand or dust, whatever it is that's in there. Um, and that seemed to clear up uh, pretty quick. And then this has uh, been running overnight without the filter. So anything else that was in there just kind of settled down and looks pretty clear. Um, my camera is going to change the color effect on here, but uh, this is fairly close to what it is right now. Uh, nice and bright and uh, looking good. So day one, um, I put in a few bits of fish food in there just to kind of help get the cycle started. Um, you can see there's a little bit stuck on the pump right there. And uh, I'll give you a top-down view here. Uh, hopefully it doesn't wash out too much. But this light unit is really nice. Look at how sleek that is. And, uh, and it's got all sorts of uh, lighting effects. You know, it uh, brings up the uh, sort of a sun sunrise, goes through uh, its daytime cycle where it's at, you know, 100% and then um, has a sunset cycle where it starts going blue and then a moon light uh, period where I think it's like four hours it's sort of like a deep blue as just well, one of the regular cycles so it's been it's been pretty cool I, I, I like it I like the way it looks um, you can see there's my camera that's my camera turning it blue um, the one complaint I have um, and it's a very very minor one uh, is with the unit that um, comes with it, and this is the uh, Ramp Timer Pro. This comes with the uh, the LED light unit. Um, it's backlit. This screen here is all backlit, and I'll see if I can zoom in and hopefully it'll focus in on it. There you go. You can see it's kind of zooming in and out, but see how it's blue? It's backlit blue like that all the time. There's no off function. It doesn't go off after a certain amount of time or, you know, uh, adjust itself at night. So the one thing that I don't like about that is that um, it's a really big, bright night light pretty much all night long. So uh, being that this is in my family room, not a big deal. Um, but if you had that in your bedroom, say, um, you either have to unplug it or cover it with, you know, tape or something like that, which um kind of sucks but for now it's okay i'll see if i can maybe you know you don't want to hide the unit because what's the point um although the screen really doesn't give you that much information i mean it has the time on there and when you're programming it you know you want to see what uh what's being displayed but uh other than that you're just using this little sensor right there which is for the remote Sorry about the contrast here. I had to turn it, uh, turn my contrast and play with my brightness to try to get a, a decent uh, view of the actual tank. Just because it's so bright, it uh, my camera kind of washes it out. Um, so one of the other things I bought um, just now is a saltwater uh, test kit, and it's a starter. Um, what it tests for is ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite. Um, so that's something you want to keep track of uh, when you first start a tank because you want to um, you want to see the ammonia spike up during the cycle and then go back down and then the nitrate go up and come back down. So um, pick that up today. Uh, also, what I picked up and I've got it mounted here is just a uh, temperature little uh, electronic. There's a probe runs in there just hanging down with the suction cup. 
and I kind of tucked it around to the side here. I, you know, try to keep it nice and clean. I mean, and actually it's kind of nice because I see that my temperature is a little bit higher than what I wanted. I wanted it at um, 78, 79, and that's what I thought I had set on my, um, on my heater. Well, actually it's uh, it, almost 82, which isn't bad, but, uh, you know, uh, definitely good to have a, uh, a thermometer um, to check your temperature, whether it's electronic or just one of the, you know, in tank or outside of tank stick on ones. So my cycle begins. I'm going to actually do a test here and keep, uh, keep tabs on uh, what's happening within the tank. That's it for now. See you next time.